morning, Preps fans. Once again, the Prep Rally is on the road. We are at Denver Coliseum for the Great A Tournament on day three. But before we get here, we have to go to day one of 6A Great A basketball and the plethora of upsets. <laughs> First matchup of the day, Horizon Hawks taking on the three seed legend Titans. Horizon Madden Cassidy with a three pointer to keep the Hawks within six points. But here comes legend Maley Wallum with the steal and the layup as the Titans move on to the final four. But to the most competitive game this morning, the Thunder Ridge Grizzlies taking on Rock Canyon and let's head to the final seconds of regulation. As Casey Lehman would hit three straight free throws to force overtime, talk about clutch. But Andrew Crawford was the man of the game, finding Tommy White all alone under the basket, and that'll do it. The clock expires and the Grizzlies are headed to the final four. Uh, they, they beat us on our home court. Rivalry game, sold out, sold out gym. And we wanted to come back and get our revenge, so that's what we did. 6'8 girls, Valor Christian taking on Rock Canyon when Valor's Quinn Van Sickle finds Cameron Gunter wide open in the lane. Valor is moving on, winning by 18. Valor boys also in the hunt. Underdogs taking on three seed Chaparral. And while the Wolverines, Gavin Carter would do everything he could to keep them in the game, they could not stop Valor's Ryan Dixon. Finishing with a game high 21, and Valor wins easily by 20. You know, we, uh, we got kicked out in the Elite Eight last year. It was heartbreaking. And uh, with our new coach, Jeff Platt, he really helped us come together as a team. And uh, we're going to take it all the way this year, I believe it. The Eagle Crest Raptors taking on the number one team in the state, Fruta Monument. Down by 12 to start the fourth. Fruta would fight their way back in it thanks to this monster slam by Daniel Thomason. But here come the Raptors. Garrett Barker with the exclamation point as Eagle Crest takes down number one. 61 to 53. You know, you know, it feels great. We went into that knowing they were undefeated and we just had that chip on our shoulder to make that upset happen and, and go to the final four with it. Seven seed Regis Jesuit taking on two seed Cherry Creek. And we'll pick it up in the first. Cherry Creek ball and Sophia Ball pumps fakes, steps left and bottoms the long three. Bruins lead by two. But to the fourth we go, Regis Jesuits, Jane Rump turns into a QB, and Corin Watts is her receiver. She puts it up with the foul, and the Raiders take down Creek 50 to 44. Uh, it feels really good, because last year we definitely lost that one. It kind of hurt a bit, so we really showed up and came to play today. Seven seed Smoky Hill Buffaloes taking on two seed Mountain Vista Golden Eagles. And we'll start in the first quarter. Fast break. Smoky Hill guard Lorenzo Contreras throws up the alley to Ray Gasaway. And it's showtime in the Coliseum. Smoky Hill leads early, but to the fourth. Mountain Vista down two with seconds remaining. Oliver Junker drives to the basket and gets the bounce and the foul. Game tied at 61 and Junker would make his free throws. Eagles lead by one with four point seconds remaining. One final chance for Smokey Hill. Carter Basquez asking for it. Drives and throws it up and my lord made it on the buzzer. Smokey Hill is headed to the final four by the hairs on their chinny chin chins. Bro, we, we just worked so hard this whole year, bro. I, I don't know, bro. Just, my teammates trust me. My, my dog's though passing me the ball, bro. Trust me with that shot. Just the whole game, bro. We were so we were way too hard to go out like that, bro. Just... Five a ball as the Stanley Lake girls would battle back from a near 20 point deficit to single digits thanks to this three from Michaela Alvarado. But me, too good. Darby Haley with the drive and game high of 17. And me, you're headed to the final four. Meade's boys also in the hunt, taking on the Northfield Nighthawks. And uh-oh, when you see a tip-off, you know it's trouble. Northfield's Daquan Slayton wastes no time to put his team on the board. But Meade will control the lead the majority of the game. George Hubert from the corner on the first quarter buzzer as the Mavs head to the fourth with a nine-point lead. But the Nighthawks would not go down. Judah Michael pulls up from the top of the key to tie the game, and the crowd erupts as the Nighthawks beat the Mavericks by nine to advance to their first ever Final Four. It feels good. It's telling me that we put it on for the 303, you know. Uh, a lot of people downplay us, thinking that we come from the Northeast side. We wasn't really good my sophomore year, so now it feels good. But thank you, God. Northfield girls taking on the Wizards of Windsor. First quarter, Madison Bethel with the strong take with the left to the rim. She's a freshman. Second quarter, Windsor's Nola Greenwald sends up the floater on her way down. 
but Northfield freshman LaPortia Allen was unstoppable. She had a game high 22, and the girls are headed to their first ever Final Four. I feel amazing. Like, making history now as a freshman is just amazing. But it is also hockey playoffs. Today is the Frozen Four. But to get to the Frozen Four, you have to win in the quarterfinals, which is where we're headed. First up, we'll head to the Mountain Vista Golden Eagles, taking on the Cherry Creek Bruins in the quarterfinals. Creek with possession first. Daniil Korbagnikov slams it home off the alley. Ooh, and the shot was so good, he had to scream it out. But here comes Vista. Aiden Moretti with two guys to beat, and he fires from deep for the goal, but this game will be far from over. Let's head to double OT. Tie game with Creeks looking to end it. Dominic Suchko comes up with the puck and sends it to the back of the net for the game winner and the crowd goes wild as the Bruins outlast the Golden Eagles in double OT to advance to the Frozen Four. But who will they play? The defending ice hockey champion, the Valor Christian Eagles, taking on the Denver East Angels, and it'll be Valor first. Off an East turnover as Maddox Charles buries his first goal, and look at his wrist work. Shooters, shoot. But on the other end was Denver East. A little congestion by the goal, but Jack Patterson pokes it through, and would you look at the selling? But here comes Valor, and it's Maddox Charles again with the wrist work to score his third goal of the game, a hat trick to move on to the Final Four. It's huge, especially coming off of a, a big win against them last time. I thought maybe, oh, geez, this might not go our way, but then we pulled through. It was amazing. But with all this playoff action, let's head to the unified basketball team headed to state and the Denver Nugget takeover they experienced on Tuesday. Byfield. I'm Titus Dokes. And we're happy to be in Unified Basketball Game, baby. Let's go E! Woo! Man, it was hype. You have to be, when you're the MVP, because somebody can't take my place. And everybody knows you around the school, that means you know what you do. Today was a great day because we won because we had 41 and the guests had 38. That's crazy. But we won, though. I got Rocky's autograph and Justin's autograph, baby! Man, our game plan was to win and go to the state championship. And we win in this, and we make sure we win this trophy hunt. This belongs to us. Coming up later today, we will have more 4A grade A coverage. And of course, tomorrow on the prep rally, we'll take you to that frozen four. But as always, we can't be everywhere. So if you see anything you like feature on the prep rally, just send it over. That's all, folks. I'm Ashley Moore, and we'll see you next time right here on the 9 News Prep Rally.